Hey, what is going on folks? This is Hellbent and this is a second video in the topic of creating perfectly flat or smooth surfaces in the Game Master Nier. Uh, in the first video I talked about why you can only get certain angles, how to get those angles, etc. Uh, but uh, just in case you don't want to spend 22 minutes going over a video, I'll do a quick recap. So basically, we are on a sphere that is inside of a cube. And that cube is further broken down into smaller cubes and that's how it to turn, uh, keeps track of where you terraform, etc., etc. But anyways, these lines that we can create are these smooth surfaces are determined, are predetermined. They're fixed. They're always going to be the same. Whereas we are bound by gravity. So depending on where we walk on the planet, the relative, uh, the way the angles appear, these straight lines appear to us, will change because our perspective is constantly changing because we're constantly being pulled towards the center of the planet. So as we walk around the planet, the angle of these lines seems to appear. So that's why if you ex go further away from your base or whatever, you won't have be able to create uh, something that you might think of as level. It'll kind of have a slope. You'll be able to create smooth surfaces, but they'll appear to have a slope to them. Okay. I've also dug out over here so that way you can kind of get an impression of what kind of uh, surfaces you'll be able to get by digging into the rock. So you notice the rock is broken up into these different layers. You can see the line that runs through them. So just it just so happens that when you land, uh, one of the surfaces that you will be able to create happens to be something that you might call level. So you can see that it's got a I can see a line that runs through here and it's approximately level but if I was to go a couple hundred feet out that way and if I was to look at the rock again it would appear to be on a different angle and that's just because gravity is affecting me but it's not affecting these angles that we can get. I also talked about how you can only create smooth surfaces at very specific steps. You can see the different steps in the rock so you can only create it where the two parts joined together so you wouldn't be able to create something in the middle in between the two different layers so that's something very important to know that it's everything has to be in steps um, so what I've done is I've created a new base and I've come and I've smoothed out the area around my base. Now if you have trouble getting it going, um, first thing in the morning when the sun rises, when you're going through the process of actually smoothing out your base the first time, there is no silver bullet, so it's just trial and error. You're just going to have to keep working it until you finally get it smooth. You'll know that it's perfectly smooth because at sunrise, the sun hits the ground at just the right angle. To, if there's any blemishes in the ground at all, it'll reveal them so if you smooth it out wait till sunrise if you don't see anything any blemishes anywhere you know that you have it perfectly smooth if it's not completely smooth smooth it out again and then wait for the next sunrise and eventually you'll get where it's completely smooth after that I've created my second level using my tether method that I described in the first video um, basically you can use tethers to get the second so like I said everything is in in levels so you can only get these flat surfaces at levels it just so happens that the tether is something that you can use as a marker there's a little white line in the tether that you can use to guide uh, getting the second level and once you have the second level you can create all the different angles that you want <clears throat> so I have my second level and now what we're gonna do in this video is just talk about walls I'll come back for a third part probably be the final part where I talk about ceilings and roofs and floors etc about getting those after you have the first one okay so what we're gonna um, during the first video I also said that there's a kind of a rule that if I have two surfaces that are completely flat and they're joined together by only one space so the thing if I'm joining this flat surface with this flat surface the surface that's connecting those two surfaces as long as it's only one space or one increment apart it will also be perfectly smooth so I have this completely smooth surface up here I have this completely smooth surface down here this surface that's connecting them this ramp this 45 degree angle ramp is also automatically a perfectly smooth surface so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my uh, terrain tool use the flattening ability and I'm just going to extend this ramp down into the ground a little bit I'm gonna I don't have to go that deep but I want to make sure that I have enough of it so that way if I destroy a part of it later in a minute I'm gonna have to destroy a little bit of it so I want to make sure that I can grab uh, a part of this completely flat surface so this this ramp that's going into the ground is 
automatically a completely smooth surface. I don't have to work it or anything. It's automatically smooth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up to the top surface and I'm just going to get rid of this part here and I'm going to extend out over that ramp one space. And when I do that, it ends up creating a little bit of a, a bulge underneath it. So I end up getting like one and a half spaces, two spaces, whatever. So what I need to do now is come back to my ramp and clean that up a little bit. So what I want is this part that I extended out to be only one space out. And when those two things snap together, so when my top surface snaps to get uh, joins my ramp, it ends up creating another angle, and this angle just happens to be a 90 degree angle, which is my wall. So there, this is that's how you create walls. Once you have your wall, you can go and fix up all your stuff here. When you have it perfectly done, when I join the floor with the wall, it'll end up creating this little uh, 45 degree angle ramp with it. And there you go. So this is your this is how you create your wall. Now how to use this to let's say plan out something. So over here I've ex once I had my second level that I got using the tethers, I brought it over to here and I created a basic uh, foundation of where I want to build a wall. So in this case I'm going to be building the outside wall, but this the principle is the same if I want to build the interior of a room. So here I'm going to build the exterior wall. So I've gone and I've just squared out an area. And I'm going to use this to create a a box or a room for storage or to build my base in or whatever I want. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to take one of these 45 degree angles that join this upper level to the bottom level, and I'm just going to use my flattening tool and extend this into the ground a bit. Once I have that, I'm going to come back up to the top surface and extend the top surface out one space over the ramp. Just like before, it created a little bit of fat at the bottom of it, so I'm going to come back down to my ramp, and I'm just going to click on that and drag it until it snaps that overhang to be only one space. Okay, so there we go. Now I can click on this surface that I've created, extend it up, and I'll bring it over here because I'll join the walls. And I'll bring this down to the ground. and I can clean up that trench that I created. The recording software really slows down my computer so I'm having horrible frame rate right now so you'll probably be able to do this a lot quicker than I'm doing it right now but uh, the frame rate makes it difficult to move around. So I have that surface over there for that side of the wall. I'm just going to do the same thing over here for this side of the wall. I'm just going to create a ramp that goes down into the ground. I'm going to make sure that I have enough area so that way when I break it in a couple of seconds I still have a flat area to work with. So I have a nice ramp that's going down into the ground a couple of feet. I'm going to come up to the top surface, extend it out one space, I'll go a couple of squares across and then I'm going to come back to the ramp, this flat part of the ramp, bring that up to make sure that the part that I extended out snaps properly. Alright, now I have this new surface, so I have this flat surface that's joining this ramp surface. Both of them were flat, so this surface is flat and I can just extend this up and now I have my second wall which I'll bring over to here so like I said the orientation of these lines is fixed your orientation is fixed by is uh, determined by the gravity so just remember that so if I was to build the same building somewhere else, it would be a little bit cockeyed because the angles are fixed, the straight lines are fixed.
like I said, if you have any questions about it, you can watch the first video where I covered all of this kind of stuff. All right, so as I bring them together, I'll bulge through this side a little bit. Now, <clears throat> when I pull it, well, I'm going to drag this over to line up with this one without creating this bulge. What I found is that right now it this bulge is two spaces or two squares over. If I bring my tool to about halfway through the second one, so if I'm basically one and a half, one and a half spaces from the edge of my next wall, it'll I won't have the bulge going through to the other side. So I'll be able to get completely flat edge right there. And what I'll do is actually right here at the bottom, I'll have to destroy it because I want to fix this bottom part. So I'll just extend that over a little bit. And I'll come over here and do it. So I'll go one and a half spaces from the edge, and that'll snap everything into position. And then I'll just fix up the floor a little bit. And there you go. So this is how you create. If I was to go and do the other two sides, I would have a perfectly uh, squared room that I can build an interior to or whatever I want. And that's how you do walls in Astroneer. In the next video, I'll talk about how to create uh, ceilings and floors, make them really easy just like this was. And I will see you there. Peace.